Hey there guys, in today's video we're going to be doing a review of the ST M870 Airsoft Shotgun. This particular model is the police version which utilizes real wood and full metal construction. Getting into some of the features of the gun, it can shoot around 400 FPS with 0.20 gram BBs. I've been using 0.25s just because they're a little bit more accurate and that's what I adjusted the hop up for. The overall length of the gun I realize is just out of frame now but it's uh, 93 centimeters or just over 3 feet. As far as the aesthetics go, the paint has a matte black finish and again real wood for the furnishing. On the right side here we also see the SNT logo. Flipping the gun over we see some text for the Model 870 Super Magnum as well as the 12 gauge shells for 2 and 3 quarter inch shells and th this gun doesn't actually use shells, it's a magazine which I'll show you in just a second here. So at the front of the gun there's a little sling adapter here and this can be removed if you want just by unscrewing this knob. Coming down to the magazine that comes with the gun, if you want to eject it all you have to do is slide this lever back and then pull it out. Sometimes though with a really full magazine it won't go in just like that, sometimes you have to pull the pump back, slide the magazine in, and then push the pump back forward and you'll be ready to go. Coming back to the trigger guard we can see the safety, pushing in from the right puts it in the ready to fire position, pushing in from the left puts it in safe. Coming back to the stock again it's full wood and then there's a rubber butt plate, this is pretty comfortable to have on your shoulder when you're aiming down sights. And the last thing I want to mention for the features of the gun is that the hop up adjustment is just in front of this fake shell ejecting slot, it's right here on the top. If you want just the hop up all you have to do is take the allen key that comes with this gun, put it in this hole here, turn left or right, shoot a couple times, see where it's going. If it's flying high, turn it the other direction. If it's flying low, same thing, turn it back. Ideally, you just want your BBs to be flying as straight as possible for as long as possible. The last thing I'd like to mention is that I did buy two accessories for this gun. They did not come with it, but I bought them separately. This piece here is just a set of rails and you can attach this onto the gun if you want something like a red dot sight. This is totally an optional accessory though, you don't need this. In the shooting test I'm about to do, you'll see that it works just fine without the rails. This piece here though is pretty helpful, it's a 40 round mid cap magazine and I use this a lot, especially since it's almost double the capacity of the magazine that comes with it. Just as a reminder, these didn't come with the gun, but I'll have links to them in the description as well as the gun itself. With all that out of the way though, I think we'll go ahead and go outside and start the shooting test. So in today's shooting test, we're going to be using the 870 shotgun, using 0.25 gram BBs from about a distance of 45 feet. So we'll set up the cans here and we'll go ahead and get started. So that's pretty good accuracy from 45 feet away, but I know this gun is capable of more, so we've stepped it back to 70 feet. I'll go ahead and set up the cans again, and we'll shoot from here, see what happens. There we go. That's with it being windy out, so I'm pretty impressed with this. All in all, I have to say I absolutely love this shotgun. It's just as accurate as some of my sniper rifles, but I don't even need the scope for it. It's pretty intuitive, at least to me, to be able to shoot it accurately. You can get the rails that I mentioned earlier if you want to put a sight or something on it to help with that, but again, I think it's pretty accurate just on its own. And on top of that, with the full metal construction and the real wood, it just feels really solid. I've dropped this a couple of times and it's held up perfectly fine. And for me, it's just something about the full stock 870 model that's just really satisfying to shoot and hold. It just feels great overall. If you're thinking about picking one of these up or want to learn more about it, I'll have a link in the description to where you can pick one up as well as any of the attachments that I've mentioned so far in the video. Other than that, if you guys are looking for more to watch, I'll have some videos annotated on the right here as well as links to those videos down in the description below. But I think that's going to wrap up today's video, so as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.